If you've been charged with drug supply, it's important to understand what the charge involves so you're in the best position to fight the case where appropriate and increase your chances of getting the best possible outcome. The law has a very broad definition of what drug supply is. It essentially refers to situations where you are involved in the sale or distribution of drugs, such as where you've stored or kept drugs at your house which you intend to sell later on, where you've sent drugs out in the post or delivered them yourself, or even where you've given drugs to mates for free. You might also be charged with supply, where you've played a role in the supply, for example, agreeing, authorising, directing, permitting or attempting to supply drugs. Other examples of drug supply are where you've sold fake drugs. So for example, if you tell someone that they're getting a gram of cocaine, but in reality you know that it's something else disguised as cocaine, like bicarbonate of soda. However, drug supply does not include situations where you've given drugs to someone else to hold on to temporarily and they intend to give them back to you, or where you are holding on to drugs for someone else and you intend to return them. It also won't include situations where you've asked a friend or another person to buy drugs to supply to you. In situations like these, you can have your lawyer write a letter to the prosecution explaining your side of the story and asking that the charges be dropped or downgraded to drug possession. Take a look at our video on how do I beat a drug supply case for more info on this. The type of penalty that you might be facing will depend largely on the type and amount of the drug supplied and which court the matter is being dealt with in. Even if you wish to plead guilty, there may be a chance that you can avoid a criminal conviction altogether by getting what's known as a Section 10 order. Watch our video on penalties for drug supply if you'd like more information on the types of penalties you could be looking at. Last but not least, if you've been charged with supply, it's important for you to speak to a specialist drug lawyer. That's because, unlike a general lawyer, a specialist drug lawyer will have the knowledge, expertise and relevant experience to help you get the best possible outcome. Here at Sydney Drug Lawyers, our lawyers are experts in drug cases and we are proud of our exceptional track record of getting drug supply charges dropped or downgraded and winning cases when they end up going to a defended hearing in the local court or a jury trial in the district court. Where our clients wish to plead guilty, we have a track record that is second to none when it comes to helping them avoid convictions altogether for minor drug supply cases and keeping our clients out of prison for more serious cases. So if you've been charged with drug supply and you want the strongest possible defence, give us a call now on our 24 hour hotline and find out how we can help you. You might also want to check out our video on why should I choose a specialist drug lawyer to find out why it's important to get an expert drug lawyer on your side.